Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be DIYing some curtains that I was inspired from Pinterest. I will show you the curtains that I was inspired by right here. Um, they were $88 per panel with four panels in my room. That was just like a little bit too much money for me. I think I did this whole DIY for zero dollars. It was completely free and I love it. So I hope you do too. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So to start out with, you will need some yarn. I'm not going to be using this yarn in my project, but just for demonstration purposes, I'll be using this gray. And you're going to want to cut like a couple of pieces about this long. Okay, and then I'm going to be using um, a checkbook. It could be cardboard, it could be anything that's kind of hard and about this size. Um, if you want a smaller pom-pom, I would make something a little smaller, um, but this is about right for me. And then I'm just going to wrap it around. And I've been wrapping mine around 15 times. Okay. And once you have that, done, you will just take a piece of thread or yarn and tie it up here at the top. Okay. Then you'll take it out, just kind of slide it off. And you can do this part a couple of ways. I have been cutting right here first. So you see like all the ends and then I take my other piece of string and I kind of hold it flat like this. And this part's a little bit trickier, but you just want to Tie it around. And there you go. A cute little tassel. Okay, so I took my curtains off for a couple of panels. And after I trimmed all of these little tassels, I safety pinned them. So I've done one. I think I figured it out. I found my, um, what do you call it, upholstery needles. And I'm going to thread the end of the yarn. Then, find my spot where I want to go. I'm just going to pull it. through there. Doing like three times just to be safe. And then I'm going to trim it pretty close to the ends. And it's pretty secure. And I'm just gonna go through the whole curtain just like that. So the next DIY I'm going to do is with this valence curtain that I bought from my art table. So it's cute. It was just actually only a few bucks at Walmart and I really like the bottom but it's still a little bit plain. Um, I think it could be a little bit cuter and I ordered these little pom pom trim lace thingies off of Amazon a while ago. I am just going to glue it around the top where the see where this is. I'm just gonna glue it there and then trim it off. I'll do the same to both sides and depending if I have enough 
have left, I'm gonna go down the end right here. So I actually am so proud of myself because I just threaded this um, never before used sewing machine my mom got me for Christmas like two years ago and I am sewing I'm sewing where I glued this down because I want to have the option of washing it and this glue will wash out and it's just mm, I don't know I just wanted to sew it wanted to give it a shot so I'm doing it watch Hey guys, I hope you love these DIYs as much as I do. They did not take me very long, like an afternoon. Um, I made tassels while I was watching TV. I attached them to the curtains while I was watching TV. It really took no time at all. It elevates the space so much and I just love it. So if you like this video, please do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like this video, and yeah, I just hope that you guys enjoy this and can get something out of it. Alright, y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.